Covering news where you live, this is 5 News. Well, thank you for joining us here for the latest news and weather where you live. I'm Joe Ellison. And I'm Tiffany Lee. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around our area. School has been back in session for a little over a month, and with that comes an uptick in illnesses. We spoke with Dr. Upton Siddons with Baptist Health. He tells us they've definitely had more people in the clinic lately, but it's not something to worry about. They've seen some COVID cases, but mainly the common cold and stomach bug. Now, these are sicknesses that he considers seasonal and in most cases mild. To help prevent bringing home the bad germs, Dr. Sidden gave us a few tips. The first one is hand washing. Second is noticing your symptoms. A lot of patients will say, I just thought I had allergies for weeks and I was pushing through it or something like that. And then it turns out they test positive for something and they're actually sicker than that. And they've probably exposed a lot of friends and family to something rather needlessly. Lastly, he says routine vaccinations are important and the flu shot is always a good idea. Baptist Family Clinic in Greenwood is having a free flu shot clinic on October 4th and 5th. Anyone 12 and up can get one. All right, we are officially fall, right? It's Sunday, it turned to fall, so we're hoping for some of that fall-like weather. Zach, what do we need to know for today? Uh, yeah, the cooler fall weather, it is here. Now, we still got a little humidity, higher humidity, a little mugginess in the air today, but a cold front is moving through. It's bringing added cloud cover, scattered showers, all those things coming together to lower the temperatures from the steamy summer weather that we saw late week through the weekend. We're not going to be that hot anytime soon. I can tell you that for sure. We will get cooler mornings ahead and we will get uh, again temperatures in the 70s and 80s mixed around the area for the majority of the work week. All right, for your Monday, we're watching scattered showers develop in Oklahoma and they'll push through. This is an exact radar here, uh, but it does give us a good idea of the scattered activity with some embedded heavier downpours possible, some rumbles of thunder, maybe a strong gusty wind or two today, but severe weather overall not expected. We'll look for rain chances to be at their best for five country as we go late morning through early early mid afternoon. That's the main window. Shower activity should really start to taper off late afternoon into the evening hours. Highs today, as I mentioned, a lot nicer than the last few days. We're looking for temperatures to be widespread, mostly in the 70s. All right, thanks for that, Zach. Well, the man shot by an Arkansas State Police trooper during a traffic stop is set to appear in court today. Angel Zabet Alvarado was pulled over for speeding and a struggle ensued between him and the officer. You can watch the unedited dash cam footage at 5newsonline.com. In the video, Trooper Duncan can be seen approaching the vehicle, immediately opening the door, throwing his keys, and attempting to remove Zepet Alvarado from the driver's seat. State police have said that he had a blood alcohol level of twice the legal limit. We'll bring you the latest updates once Zepet Alvarado appears in court today, so of course stay with us for the latest. Enforcement police have arrested the driver who they believe hit an elderly woman and drove away. James Edmund Swineson was arrested on charges of leaving the scene of an accident in which an injury or death occurred. The woman was walking her dog on South 21st Street back on September 7th. According to a close friend of the victim, the crash left her with broken ribs, a collapsed lung, a broken arm, a broken leg, and broken ankles. After weeks of searching, James Edward Swineson was arrested and is also being held on charges for being a habitual offender. Well, the deadline to register to vote in the November election is coming up for Arkansas and Oklahoma voters. In Arkansas, you'll have to fill out a voter registration card and either take it to the county clerk's office in person or get it in the mail by October 7th. If you live in October, if you live in Oklahoma, you have a few more days. That deadline is October 11th. Well, Oklahoma does offer online registration on the OK Voter Portal. In Arkansas, you can't register to vote online, but you can find the form on your county's website or the Secretary of State's website and print it off to mail or take to the office. You can also register to vote at the DMV. Washington County election coordinators reminding voters if you've moved in the last few years, you may need to update your address. Or if you've moved to a different county, you may need to fill out a new registration card. They ever encourage everyone here to vote this time around, not only because of the upcoming election, but also important because local races will be on there that will impact where you live. You can check if you're registered by going to voterview.ar and searching your name or call your local county clerk's office and they can verify that for you. Well, thank you for joining us here today. I'm Joe Ellison. And I'm Tiffany Lee. Have a great day.